The popular landmark in the op community burned down late last night. WDHN's Mike Gersman says more than a dozen fire departments across Covington and Coffee counties responded to the blaze at Doc's Country Store and Restaurant. Around 9.30 Monday night, the call came from mutual assistance from OP Fire Department to all surrounding fire stations in Covington and Coffee counties to fight a formidable blaze. Doc's Country Store and Restaurant is a total loss. It has served the area for over 15 years, selling clothing, shoes, gift items, and hot meals. At the time the fire started, the business was closed. OP Fire Chief Corey Sperlin says it's a total loss. He believes it started in the back of the business or in the kitchen area. Chief Berlin says firefighters were advised to keep the flames from spreading, which they successfully did. It's heartbreaking to lose something like this. It's heartbreaking to lose anything in the city. And, and you know, we, my guys and, and the other departments done everything we could to try to contain it. And, and we was able to do that and keep it just to one single building. But, you know, I'm proud of that. Op Mayor Becky Bracky says she was called late last night, arrived at the scene, saw the structure engulfed in flames, and cried. Oh, I cried. <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't stand it. It was, uh, we were, uh, I'm real close to Steve and Elaine, and it hurt me to see them, uh, something being destroyed that they had worked so hard for. They, they put their heart and their soul into this, and they love the community. Owners veterinarian Dr. Steve Booth and his wife Elaine were too distraught to talk to the media. We're told they were thankful to first responders who kept the flames contained to the business. The surrounding buildings of the Booth Family Museum were spared. No word on whether they plan to rebuild. Reporting it up, Mike Gerspan, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. The Alabama State Fire Marshal's Office is helping the Op Fire Department sift through the ashes to determine what caused that fire.